So I've got most of the head done, come along nicely. And I'm just gonna add some other things to it. Um, uh, teeth and like a little uh, mustache and, and beard, ears and the antlers. Again, there's, there's always a lot of ways to do this. I'm just gonna show you one, one way to do it. But if you figure out something a little bit different, that is great. So I think I'll start out with the teeth. I know usually in stories, when I read about it, it says it's a uh, Chinese dragon has the teeth of a horse, which are like bigger flat teeth. Um, most drawings I see though in artworks, they usually have uh, sharper teeth, more like that traditional uh, Western dragon, the scary one. So I'm gonna go with those. I'm just using a separate color for the teeth. And I'm just kind of rolling it into little pieces like this. And then if you tap it down on the table, it kind of looks like a little uh, cone shape. It should kind of just stick to it right away. It surely could fall off those teeth. But if you take a toothpick like this and sort of just like tap around the edges, it'll secure it a little bit better. So this picture I'm looking at, they have two teeth on the bottom and then two teeth in the back. You can certainly, you can open up this mouth a little bit and work on putting more teeth in or just leave it at the two like this. There's some teeth for the dragon. And again, you could do it a different way. You could do just like a little row of teeth. Like what if you take a little piece like this and roll it out. Now you could use this for, for a whole set of teeth. Take a little roll, put it underneath. Then you can sort of draw the teeth onto like this. The old toothpick, very versatile tool. It's pretty much all I've used so far. So you could do teeth like that too. Um, looks kind of nice. So I'll take that off. All right, so on to the next part, the mustache and beard. I opened up a new color. This is brown. So I'm doing the same thing I did for the teeth. I decided to kind of add on like one section at a time, make a piece of a different color clay. Just roll a little piece like this. And then before you attach it, you can like flatten the bottom off a little bit. So it looks like a little cone. And then you can start adding these on for the little mustache and the, um, and the beard too. You could do bigger chunks or instead of doing separate pieces like I'm doing here, you could add on like bigger chunks at a time or even like flat pieces. I just thought this would get a good uh, like little uh, hair wisps coming out, little tips. And once those are on, you could uh, use a little toothpick to help join them together. Does your dragon need a, a mustache and beard? No, it does not. Remember, it's your artwork. You might come up with a different idea. I know I've seen some already, and that is fine.
Okay, so that took a few minutes, but I was able to add a, a beard around this dragon. And now I'm gonna add uh, the ox ears. So I'm gonna take a little piece of gray, it matches his overall color so far. A little piece of gray. Just trying to shape it into a, an ear-like shape, kind of looks like a teardrop. And I'm gonna use this to make a little, um, one of my beard parts fell off. It's okay, I can just put it back. So for the ear, I'm just gonna make a little, little divot in the ear like this with a toothpick. That's it. And then over here, I'll add the ear. Ear shape got kind of changed when I put it on. There we go. Now I'll make one on the other side and try to match it. This time I'm gonna add it on first and then try to sculpt a little bit. It's gotta push a little bit onto it. first. Alright, so now he has ears. Now finally the last thing my head needs are these antlers on top. So I'm gonna go back to that white color. Let me choose something different for yours. So here's, you can take any kind of a flat tool. I'm just kind of reaching in and smoothing on that clay so it sticks a little bit better there. This is an old plastic spoon. So not the toothpick for that one. Any kind of tool that's flat. Here's a clay tool that's flat. Just so they stick a little bit better. And you can do this for, see the beard? and the hair back here, and just touch that. If things fall off a lot, which they, which they will, it might happen, like these things kind of pop right off sometimes. And if they do, just uh, stick it back on. No big deal. Change the hairstyle so if you want a couple times. All right, I think, I think that's it. I think that's my head of my dragon.